This is Andrei Balin from Russia. Gloomy mood here in Moscow. There's little hope in the Kremlin that the broken Russian-American relationships could be quickly fixed after the US election. It's no secret that Vladimir Putin meshes far better with Donald Trump, whom he praised as an outstanding and talented politician. But even the Russian media, which have been fiercely pro-Trump, are now preparing for Hillary Clinton. The message Trump is a more popular politician in America, but the establishment will rig the voting in favor of Clinton. China has been a topic in the presidential election over and over again. It was especially Donald Trump who criticized China for being a currency manipulator, who um, made China responsible for stealing jobs from the United States. And even though China has been a victim of a lot of unfair criticism from Donald Trump, as many other people have been, um, there are quite a few fans that follow what Donald Trump is doing quite closely and who actually perceive him as the better choice for the voters in the United States. Clinton is very unpopular here. A lot of people think her stance on China is bad and that she would be very, very tough, whereas people think that Trump is a businessman and he will ultimately come up with a good solution that would benefit the Chinese as well. Good morning from Singapore, which is looking on with bemusement at America's election campaign. The thing that's coming across very strongly here is that America is not coming across all that well across the world. The Prime Minister of Singapore, and this is a one-party state, remember, said last week, we have to figure out how we don't go down this kind of road ourselves, meaning populism, erratic campaigns, sex scandals. And this was before last Friday's revelations that the FBI would look again into Hillary Clinton's private emails. The question at the moment on everyone's lips is exactly who is Huma Abedin and how has her ex-husband managed to derail this presidential scandal? Hello, this is Sandra Leuven from Madrid. Spanish newspapers all covered the new FBI investigation into Clinton's emails during the last days. They were referring to FBI Director Comey, saying that he had the obligation to inform Congress about new information coming up on that issue, but the way he did it was wrong because the information was incomplete. And like this, they it does not offer a clear interpretation, but leaves room for attacks of Trump and for influencing the outcome of the election shortly ahead of election day. Hi, good morning, Carolina here from London. The Financial Times endorses Hillary Clinton, calling the former Secretary of State the much more competent candidate than her opponent, Donald Trump. The FT has criticized Donald Trump repeatedly for his approach to foreign policy and his apparent coziness to Russian President Vladimir Putin. His suggestion he might um, not accept the election results and his claims he will lock up Clinton demonstrate contempt towards American democracy itself. Hi, this is Barbara Woolsey reporting for Handelsblatt from Germany. This is what's in Handelsblatt today, a question of honor. FBI Director James Comey has put himself into a bind with statements on Hillary Clinton. By protecting his reputation, he damages trust in the justice system. And Tagesspiegel, the FBI can influence the US election with its investigations. And it's not the first time it's done something so controversial. So this is going deeper into history at some different times when the FBI has been accused of being irresponsible or even breaking the law. Good morning. It's Gerd Braune, Handelsblatt correspondent in Ottawa. Canada is very closely following the election in the US and the Globe and Mail today has the headline On cusp of history, gender takes a backseat. It focuses on the fact that for the first time in its 240-year history, the U.S. might have a female president. But after witnessing this election's carnage, she writes, will more women be encouraged to be in the political fray or will they run away in horror? <laughs>